Okay, so this one says fructose uh, C6H12O6 is the sweetest naturally occurring sugar and is found in many fruits and berries. Each carbon has four covalent bonds. Each oxygen has two covalent bonds. Each hydrogen has one covalent bond. And the atoms are connected in the sequence shown on the board. Draw the complete structural formula of fructose. Okay, so hopefully you guys see that we have a partial structural formula here, only showing if you count them up, right? So C6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we got all the carbon shown. Is everybody okay with that? Look at the oxygens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have all the oxygens as well. So if you recall what the problem told us, right, and you'll learn this eventually later, that carbon likes to make four bonds. Okay. Oxygen likes to make two bonds. Did it tell us how many hydrogen? I don't want to give it away if it didn't tell us. But yeah, it says hydrogen likes to make one bond. Okay, so the, hopefully the thing you see is that we're just missing the hydrogen atoms. Is everybody okay with that? Okay, so, and the other thing I hope you remember is every one of these lines that connects one atom to another atom we call the covalent bond. Okay, so if you recall both of those things, this problem shouldn't be too much difficulty for you. Okay, so it's just asking where would you put these hydrogen atoms? Okay, so what we're looking for is carbons that don't have four bonds and oxygens that don't have two bonds. Is everybody okay with doing something like that? So you guys think you could do this by yourself? Anybody think they couldn't do it? Okay. I'm going to, so since most people are being like, I can do this by myself, I'm just going to call out how to do this and then you guys follow along, okay? So I see this oxygen has only one covalent bond. So that means that it needs one more covalent bond. Is everybody okay there? So I'm assuming that since we're missing 12 hydrogens, one of them's going to go there. Okay, same thing here. And again, I could have written this here, 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 anyway. Okay, it's not that big of a deal. One there. So this one only has one bond. This oxygen only has one bond. This oxygen has two bonds, so that one's I leave alone. So it looks like all of my oxygens now have two bonds. Does everybody agree with me there? Okay, so um, now, and we have one, two, three, four, five hydrogens gone, so we need seven more hydrogens. Let's look for carbons that don't have four bonds. So this one, well, this one only has one, two, so let's put two hydrogens there. This one only has three bonds, so let's put a hydrogen there. This one has one, two, three bonds, so hydrogen there. One, two, three bonds, hydrogen there. This one has four bonds already, so no hydrogens. That's actually the cardinal rule of organic chemistry. Carbon only has, can only have up to four bonds. And that carbon, of course, is missing two bonds. So like that. And now let's count our hydrogens, just to make sure we've got all 12 of them in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Everybody okay with doing something like that? Okay. So you might see those types of problems.